Hi everyone, it's Rick, your friendly comic book scientist. And um, in this video, I want to show you uh, what uh, tool I'm developing to solve a problem that I have. Um, and the reason I'm saying it so specifically is because nothing engenders uh, hate and discontent like differences in um, staple removal and replacement. So I'm sure I'm sure I'm going to get tons of comments that do this the wrong way and it's going to foment angst and uh, anger and uh, advice which I'm I'm happy to get advice but uh, I'm just prepared for that but I'm not going to respond to any questions about it because it's not the point of this video. The point of this video is a tool that I made to help me reform staples and then anneal them, you know, I'll obviously electric clean them too. Uh, before I put it back in a book. And so uh, ancillary to that, you're gonna see me take staple, remove and add staples uh, to a book. I'm sure, I'm certain that uh, many of you have better ways than I do to do it. Uh, it's just not the point of this video. So I won't respond and I'll possibly delete most of the comments not related to the mandrel itself. So uh, the reason I even show a video of taking the staple in and out is to show you why it's, why it's useful. So the, this is a, a my sketch of the mandrel uh, that it's gonna or form I should call it a form that I'm gonna use to this is my idea to reshape them so that they're they're staple so they're easier to put back in the comic book later. Uh, also, um, it's a form for which I can heat treat them so they don't move while they're being heat treated. Uh, I'm gonna anneal them in a Vulcan furnace, and so this is the first stab at it. And just want to like give you guys some insight into how that works and I just. Here's a little before and after of what the staples look like. I mean, they didn't look terrible before, but they're easier to put back in the book if they're at the right, uh, if the prongs of the staple are at the right distance. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see, this is just mark one. We'll have mark many marks, I'm sure, before this is finished. Uh, or take care, bye-bye, see ya. All right, so <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is take, hold this staple down here, take this tool, that up and give it a little turn here and then I'm going to hold this thing with my thumb and do the same thing on the other side I'm kind of holding it down sometimes I get under here with this and turn it this way and then that's up and I will straighten it And that is that part. Now we're going to push out of the book, pull our staple here, and we'll do the same thing to the other one. We'll get it out the same way, which is going to be to just hold it here. This one's not, they're not on the spine. Fix that. So sometimes when you remove staples, they look kind of like this. They're not really shaped nicely. And so if you want to clean them or you want to polish them, these ones don't need any cleaning, but, um, and you want to, sometimes I heat treat them so that they're ductile again. These aren't the easiest to put back through the staple holes again because of this weird shape. So I'll show you a drawing here of what my plan is to make a mandrel. And this is my, mandrel prototype that I have made from hardened stainless steel. Um, and then if this works properly, I'm going to have a machine shop make rolling for me and then I'll heat treat them in a Vulcan oven. And um, we'll try it out. Here's what we do. We're going to take a staple here and we're going to widen it wider than we think it needs to go. And then we press it in one of the grooves. There will be, I think, eight grooves on this thing all together. And we're going to press it in here and later on we'll either have a hydraulic press or we'll use some fasteners and then we're going to take this mandrel i've got a couple of spots here but do one at a time I'm just going to press this thing over the top like that and hopefully that will form it into place and then we are going to take the staple out here remove it and it's straighter. And then we're going to take the next one and do the same thing. I'm going to just put it here. Now this table should be easier to feed back in 
when we do this. So I'm going to put the staple into that spot. And then I'm not heat treating these ones. I'm just sort of working on the prototype. So there won't be any heat treating. I mean, I guess I could do it, but it's not necessary. This one's giving me a little more trouble. I'm going to widen it a little more than I think I need to. And then I'm going to force it back over here. And then um, try this again here. Come on, you stinker. There we go. That's going to work better, I think, now. Get it into the groove. And then I'm going to force this guy down into the slots. Now, the top is aluminum. So it's, I want the top to be softer than the staples at the bottom to be harder. And then um, we've reformed the staple like that. And then we take it out. And then here are our two staples again. If the holes are lined up more correct, you know, evenly, you can get the staples back in better. So I'm pushing this here from the inside out. Kind of go around the corner here. And this, and then we're gonna fish it through the outside of the book, like this. And come back around to the other hole here. And this getting it in the first one helps you to kind of keep it aligned properly and then you can get it through the outside hole like this and you can push it through if you have better eyes than I do I can't see that hole really easily um, the hole's a little small there we go just like that and they should be sized exactly right for the original holes this way, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of my cold press board underneath it, like this. So I've got something to give it some back pressure. And then I hold it down. And then, uh, well, I'm certain I'm going to get comments about this. There's going to be lots of people who do this differently. And then there's like this. This one came with flat staples. They were smashed flat, they weren't curved, so we're not gonna curve them. And then I'm just going to push this down flat, and then there's that. And there we go, there's the bottom staple. I'll reform those a little bit. So once the staple is sized correctly, you should be able to, it should fit exactly between two no standard holes. It should be exactly one half inch apart and quarter inch deep on either side. So these should, without much effort, fit right through there. And they do. They do fit. And so I'm going to um, sort of snake them around a little bit. So I'm not trying to find the holes with the um, staple so let's see here so I've got the bottom staple in and I got this little clamp here so I should be able to just fish this guy around yep and I can it's clipping through the front I can feel it coming through the front there and now I can that and I'm going through the inside to make sure I'm not playing too much on the poking around on the outside of the book where the staple could scratch it and leave a mark. And then I'm going to push it down on top of a cold press board down there. And so if this were, um, you know, we wanted a curved staple, I think I could pinch this and kind of bend it around this uh, micro spatula tool to give it that curved look. Or I could hold one set here and just kind of a little bit of a bend and give this a little bit of a bend here and then I would just push them towards each other like that and then sort of hold one and push down with my tool 
put it this way with my thumb and hold and push down with the other one like that and then they go down just like that and then staples are in and out and uh, that's, uh, that's how that's, that can be done that's how you can use that tool and I'm sure there are lots going to be lots and lots of comments about taking those staples in and out. Mm -hmm.